Hey everybody, it's cold outside. Brr, good uh, morning. The little weatherman on my phone says it's 22 degrees, which I That's don't like. That's freezing. I don't like. However, tomorrow it's going to be 60, so you know, <laughs> what do you do? It's Wednesday morning. We got a lot to do today. We got a lot of running around to do. Yes. Some different little projects we want to show you. Um, but here's where our garage stands. Thanks to Donna. Donna did an amazing job last night oh, while I was working on books and movies. And a surprise. And we got a surprise for them. And a surprise. We have a surprise. Yeah, yeah. We have something to show you <laughs> as far as my books and movies go. Uh, we'll get into that later in the video. But first thing, we have to go to storage and yep. then to the scrapyard. So Donna, this place was full. This place was just a huge, huge, huge mess. Um, we had folks bring stuff over after the garage sale. Um, I don't know if it's because it was empty or what, but we had everybody drop stuff off, so we've been having to deal with that and and stuff. we and we had to go get a couple van loads of stuff from, from somewhere. Storage, and so this was completely full. Yes, and so we're, we're we've worked it back down again. So we have two storage units, and one of them is up for renewal or whatever in just a couple days. We want to get rid. We of it. We want to get rid of it. We're in a place where we can just have one storage unit again. But in order to do that, we realized, we went to storage yesterday and brought stuff, and we realized, holy cow, we need to get rid of some big stuff. So all this stuff here. All these big things are listed. Yeah, this whole all section this. here, the ladder, that door, it doesn't have a bid. That door from the last clean out, man, I had two people who wanted to buy it right away, but it turns out it's only 30 inches wide. It's and small. so It's, it's like hard a to sell. Door or something. Uh, even this inversion table, brand new, that's on dollar auction because I need it gone. We need all this stuff gone. So all this stuff mm. will disappear later today, along with a few other things that are at storage. So we have to go get those things to storage, from and storage, and bring them to... here. And we're going to the scrap yard. We've got scrap to take, we've got recycles to take, and we've got donations to take. So yeah. it's run errands day. Yeah, funny story on the scrap. Um, we used to pay to take it to the dumps. Uh, and then actually somebody at the dump says, you should check the recycle centers. So now we take it to the recycle centers and we actually get paid to take it there, which is a lot on? more fun. One of the things that we take to recycle now, uh, this is kind of a, fun dumb story we may have mentioned this before in the past but so silver silver plate dishes for this example silver plate dish I understand that some of these can be good names and they can be worth good money um, however they're heavy they take a lot of space and they sell really really slowly uh, we do check for names and stuff like that, so don't jump to conclusions and think we just throw everything away. But we used to sell them on the dollar auction. We would sell whole lots of silver plate stuff, and there was one or two people that would buy it for a dollar. And we just thought, well, whatever, they're buying it. Turns out it's worth decent scrap price. So now we save it up and we scrap it ourselves instead of them scrapping it. So kind of nice to know that information once you do this long enough you find out little things that you had no idea about so let's go to storage we'll show you our storage units then we'll go to the scrapyard see what we can get for some stuff and we'll come back and talk about other things all right we're here at our storage unit we've had for a long time smile donna at 111 I smashed my hand. she I smashed hand her hand on the donation box I'm getting rid of the donations and so she's injured now uh, 111, we've had this for a long time, but every time we come here, we've had to bring a couple couches and things in here, and we have this doorway that we have to then pick, we can put them on carts, and then we have to pick it up, turn it sideways, and carry it through the doorway. So the other unit that we got, yeah, see, see what that does there? And just yesterday, we were pushing boxes through there, and boxes fell over going over there. So, the other unit we got, there's no threshold, no doorway. So we're emptying this out so we can uh, not have to pay $150 for this anymore. So here's what we got going on. This stereo cabinet is listed on the dollar auction. This I'm leaving here because I don't want to mess with taking it all apart. There's components in here. You so need to be picked up here. This will be it's picked up here after the dollar auction. Uh, the rest of the stuff is all going home. We got a guitar. We got lamps, we got all kinds of stuff. This cabinet right here has a safe in it. It's kind of a cool old cabinet, but it's really heavy. It's got a safe in it. 
but we have the combination on a piece of paper before the garage sale and i don't know where it is and the bottom is like rusty along the edge and everything so we're just going to scrap it it's too big to mess with the rest of this stuff is all the skis are listed that's listed um the chairs are already listed so all this stuff has to go home and we can just have one storage unit again so let me help her load this up and we'll take you to the other storage unit and show you that too storage unit with no doorway, no threshold. It's not as bad as it looks. Um, it doesn't look bad. Some of these big boxes are just storage or uh, packing supplies, so they're really light. There's a couple back there with like bubbles, wrap, and peanuts and stuff like that. This right here is the oldest stuff. This is from a couple buyouts that we did like two years ago. We brought it over yesterday. We thought, you know what? We need to work on this stuff next to get rid of this old stuff. This is where I found the Hallmark ornaments I'm gonna to talk to you about later. So this will get worked pretty soon. This has all been sorted. It's either personal or it has been sorted and is for eBay or higher dollar auction, yep. higher quality dollar auction. Yep, so this will be our permanent and that rug storage is unit now. Going bye bye. It's very dirty. Yeah, the rug is very dirty, very dusty, like not gonna deal with that. Um, so anyway, we're gonna close this up. We're gonna load up and go to the scrap yard. Then we'll come back here and we'll load up all the things from the other unit and then that one will be done. All right, we are back at the storage unit now. We took everything to the recycle place and that was productive. Can't drive. She can't drive. Perfect. You're a mess. Choo -choo. All right, that was productive at the scrapyard. We had um, a box of pewter, we had a little bit of cast iron, we had brass, we had some silver plate, we had some just steel scrap, you know, a whole bunch of different things. And we ended up getting a check. She's noisy. We ended up getting a check for $70 and one penny. So 70 bucks. There are a lot of different ways you can make money, people. I'm saying. You can sell your husband to the best bidder. Who's bidding on me though, really? You're stuck with me. As a handyman. Yeah, nah, this man ain't very handy. Um, by the way, Trap and Thrifts, if you see this video, thanks for your videos on uh, Plato's Closet because we made two trips to there recently and we got, what did we get the first time? 45, 47 and then 109. So $150 of Plato's Closet the last couple of days. So, I mean, seriously, there's a lot of ways to make money. Let's get the storage unit empty. Okay, we're home now, and we actually took that stereo component, the stereo case, put it in the other storage unit, swept out the unit, so we're done now. All I gotta do is go online and turn the unit in, and we're done with the second storage unit. We're done with <laughs> we're, the unit, yay! We're done with the storage unit. Guess what else we're done with? Guess what is done? Oh my goodness, what? What, Steve? Look at it. What are we done with? Empty box. <laughs> Empty box. You know what that is under it? Another, Another empty, empty box. box. Woohoo! DVDs and books are done. So we can put the dining room back together, maybe. Kind Not of, sort of. Not so fast. Not so fast. Look what he found. Okay, story time. Well, first of all, story time. so this stuff is listed. I just need to take it up to stairs, put it on the shelf. This stuff over here is all stuff that I'll put on the dollar auction later. Um, so why is it not listed on eBay? It's because the, the DVDs and stuff might be a little smudged or a couple of them like the cases where you snap the DVD on like there'll be a broken piece on there so it won't stay in good, stuff like that. Or it's not worth listing. So I'll just put all that on the dollar auction. But, so we thought we could just clean this up now. Put the dining room back the way it was, but not so fast, my friend. So we went to storage yesterday and when we moved everything over, there was, I don't know, a year ago, year and a half ago, we had like five, six totes of Hallmark ornaments and I sold a lot of them. Um, we brought a bunch home. There were still two in the storage unit, but I knew they were buried. And we found some decent Hallmark ornaments. So we found the two totes 
right here. We brought them home because I said, well, they sell all year round, so let's take them home. I want to get through them uh, and anything that will sell for sure over $10. So that means I have to list it for like 13 to 15 minimum because I'll take offers maybe to $10. I want to get them listed. We've had these for a year and a half, two years, I don't know, a long time. So we brought them home. They were sitting here last night. It was like 1030 when I finished the last of the listing on eBay of the DVDs from that big $700 buyout. And we went, we had a super late dinner, just sat there and watched a couple YouTube videos. And then we were done for the day, but I was like, I need to look up some of them ornaments. And so I just grabbed one of the totes and I started scanning. And all I'm doing is scanning to see what I can list for uh, at least $13 to $15, right? Anything else, just going to go on the dollar auction. I'll probably just put them in one lot. I don't care. I just need them gone. And it turns out only like six ornaments out of the tote were not worth listing. The whole tote is worth listing. And there was even a couple real surprise ones in there. Two of them, I'll pop them up here because I buried them in the tote. Two of them list is, there's like one or two listed and there's like three or four sold and they're over $100 for Hallmark ornaments from just a few years ago. How crazy is that? So I have a whole second tote here. And so I'm going to go through, I'm going to film myself, whatever, but I'm going to go through scanning them. I scan them pretty quickly. I just scan them, see how many are listed, see how many are sold. If the sell-through rate is good and it's worth listing, then I set it to the side. So, And then hopefully later today, but probably not till tomorrow, I will get to listing ornaments and try to get them all listed as soon as I can. And then maybe we can put the dining room back together. I don't know. Donna is ending auctions. Donna is going to the van because she has to go pick up some more things at 3.30 this afternoon. And then we have to pull orders and we have to ship. There's a lot to do. But let's dig into this tote and see if there's any good stuff in here. Okay, this is crazy. Like last night, the entire tote was all eBay stuff. This one, I haven't found a single eBay one yet. So I'm going to do this. Uh, and I'll just maybe speed up the footage instead of talking. And we'll just see if I find something. I'll, I'll tell you about it. Okay, that didn't go nearly as well as I thought it would. So I think I figured out why though. That tote that I did tote that I did last night, all those ornaments, they were mainly 2020, 2021. So I wonder, maybe because of COVID, they didn't make as many. Maybe that's why they're all valuable because most of this tote was not. But did have some cool finds, especially one set. So right here is everything that I will list. And these are all for at least $10. 10 to $25 over here. But the coolest find in the box was right here. There's a set. There's a whole Santa sleigh and his set with the four, four boxes, each one of them with two reindeer. And they make up the entire Santa sleigh ornament package. And this set, all five of these boxes, sells for about $90 to $100. So that was well worth it. 10 to 25 on the rest of these, so that's still good, good tote. And then there's all the rest that will go on the dollar auction. It probably in lots. Still need to pull orders, got, I don't know, 12 to 15 orders to pull. So I'm gonna have Donna do that with me quick, and then I have to get shipping. Then this afternoon, all those big things all end on dollar auction, so all that can start leaving our house. So lots going on here. We're a very busy little business, so let's get on to the next thing. All right, we're downstairs. We got the orders pulled. We're actually just going to go through them quick because we got a lot to do. So in the interest of time, we're going to save a little bit of time and just show you all the things that sold. There's my lovely wife, Donna. 
my nose is cold. I was outside. It's yes. so cold outside. Tomorrow's going to be 60, though. It's 27 yeah. right now. Yeah, a little bit of a change. Brr. So we're just going to go through. we got 15 things, 14 or 15 things to show you. Okay. And here you go. What First you up, we got a pair of New Balance shoes. Look at the fun pattern. Can you see that? It's like plants. plants and flowers and stuff. I love it. Those sold for $22.49. Got them from a garage sale. Yep. And then, you guys, do you remember the poppet beads? So, I've had these for a while. My friend Ruth told me what they were because I didn't have poppet beads. And so, I listed this whole lot and it sold for $15. Isn't that cool? So, cool. never underestimate toys from the past. Yes. These we got on the thrift bus with yeah. Planes to Profit. Fran Planes to Profit friends and Pays one three dollars sold... a piece. Yep. We had them listed, so there's two of them, quantity of two. So we had them listed at twelve ninety nine. We've got an offer for one for ten dollars. Yep. And then the other one shortly after sold for full price by somebody awesome. else. So they probably saw, oh, only one available only one left. left. So they grabbed it. Yes. Next up, we have a sweater. It's a Tommy Bahama sweater. And we're just going to leave it in the package. Yep. But it sold for... Reversible sweater, $13.59. And then we got this teacup set from my friend Ruth. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, it is a... Nice. Uh, made in England. Rowena Bone China pattern. That's all for $18.74. And then we picked this up. I believe came from a clean out we did in an air park, didn't it? Uh, let me look. Glass buyout. This was oh, the glass part buyout. of a massive glass buyout two years ago. So there's a set of three. So that comes with a cup and a plate. So a snack plate. Yep. And these sold for? $26.99. Yeah. And then we have? We have books. Books, and yo. One set of DVDs on top. So we have the Looney Tunes set. Let's see if I can get Ooh. a better glare. There we go. That looks better. Uh, Looney Tunes sold for $24.99 for those DVDs right there. And then the Amusing Homes. Amusing Homes that we talked about in the last video. If I can get the glare off of it. There you go. Amusing Homes. That one sold for $15. I ended up taking the offer for $15. Yep. All right, Donna, tell us about the next lot. She don't, a, even, she don't even know what this is, honestly. I don't know. It's like love books or something. I don't know if it's necessarily love books. Romance but, novels? I don't know if I'd call it that either. Slutty novels? What uh, the description said was... Cherry Delight. Adult Spy Sleaze. <laughs> oh my goodness. There, there's all these. These are pretty rare, and I've, I found a whole lot of them, 22 of them, in this uh, lot. And... If you look them up, there's only, you know, you see people selling like one at a time for just a few bucks. So I listed a whole lot of 22 of them and got an offer for $150. Oh my so goodness sakes. All those going out for $150. They're pretty rare. Sorry, mom. All right, we'll move on from <laughs> private eye sleeves or whatever, and we'll move on to Archie. How's that sound? That's better. <laughs> Archie. Archie's the hardback. Hardcover edition, and it sold for seventeen dollars. That's more. And then wholesome. next, <laughs> next is Mads Originals Wally Wood Comics. Not so wholesome. And that sold for twenty four ninety nine. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Why? And then we got Red Sonya, She Devil with a Sword, number three, volume number three, and that sold for twenty one ninety nine. Uh, That's going overseas. This book buyout, you guys, was yeah spectacular. <laughs> essential spider-man essential <laughs> spider-man peter, peter parker and then this is volume number four and that sold for thirty dollars plus shipping nice so that's everything what so, do you think donna that's awesome are you ready for to get your dining room back i am but you're not gonna <laughs> for a little while well, maybe we'll get our garage back because he has to end his auctions and then i'll get all that space back yes as long as everybody picks up quickly we can get it all cleared out of there yes Oh, you're going to let all right, me everybody. sit. <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all we got for today. Like I said, time yeah. crunch, a lot going on. So um, My break is over. Oh, you can take a break. You can take all the breaks <laughs> you want. But I got to get this stuff shipped and get it out of here before I go into something else. So, that's right. Uh, thank you all for watching.
Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. <laughs> Peace, <laughs> all, Steve. All that fun stuff. Uh, uh, she's Donna. We're happy her treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>